The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacin, was a unique and mysterious marsupial that once roamed the wilds of Tasmania. With its striking wolf-like appearance and a pouch for carrying its young, the thylacin was a creature of great fascination and curiosity. Despite its charismatic presence, this remarkable animal met a tragic end and became an emblem of human-induced extinction. Let us delve into the intriguing history and biology of the Tasmanian tiger, exploring the factors that led to its decline and ultimate extinction. The Tasmanian tiger was neither a tiger nor a wolf but a marsupial. Yes it's a close relative of kangaroos. It was, in fact, one of the largest carnivorous marsupials to ever exist. With its sandy, coarse fur and dark stripes across its back and tail, it bore an uncanny resemblance to a large canid, leading to its colloquial name. Males and females displayed some sexual dimorphism, with the former being larger and more robust. One of the most fascinating features of the thylacin was its pouch. Both males and females had a pouch, which is quite unusual among marsupials. The pouch, however, served different purposes for the sexes, in females, it was used for carrying and nursing the young, while in males, it likely played a role in protecting their genitalia. The thylacin was native to Tasmania, but historical records suggest that it once inhabited the Australian mainland as well. It was a nocturnal and solitary creature, primarily hunting small to medium-sized prey, such as wallabies and possums. The thylacin's stiff tail and kangaroo-like hop were distinctive traits that set it apart from other mammals, contributing to its uniqueness in the animal kingdom. The decline of the Tasmanian tiger can be attributed to several interrelated factors. Habitat destruction due to human settlement, deforestation, and the introduction of non-native species, such as dogs and foxes, significantly impacted the thylacin's prey base. This ecological disruption led to increased competition for food resources, further straining the thylacin's survival. Intensive hunting and trapping, driven by bounties offered by the Tasmanian government, had devastating consequences. Thylacins were perceived as threats to livestock, and this fear, along with the prospect of financial rewards, led to their widespread persecution. By the early 20th century, the population had dwindled to a critical point, and the Tasmanian government's last-ditch efforts to protect the species were too little, too late. The last captive Tasmanian tiger, named Benjamin, died in the Hobart Zoo in 1936, marking the official extinction of the species. In the years that followed, there have been numerous unverified sightings, folklore, and cryptozoological investigations into the possibility of its continued existence, but none have provided conclusive evidence of a living thylacin. The tragic story of the Tasmanian tiger serves as a poignant reminder of the consequences of human actions on the environment. It highlights the need for effective conservation efforts, as many species continue to face similar threats to their existence. In Tasmania, the memory of the thylacin lives on as a symbol of wildlife conservation and an emblem of the state's unique natural heritage. Efforts have been made to clone the Tasmanian tiger from preserved genetic material, although this remains a complex and controversial endeavor. Researchers are also working to better understand the ecological role the thylacin played in its environment, in hopes of informing future conservation strategies and rewilding efforts in Tasmania. The Tasmanian tiger, or thylacin, was a remarkable and enigmatic creature that captured the world's imagination with its striking appearance and tragic history. Its decline and eventual extinction serve as a poignant lesson in the consequences of human actions on the natural world. While the thylacin may be gone, its memory lives on as a symbol of the urgent need for conservation and the preservation of our planet's biodiversity. As we reflect on the story of the Tasmanian tiger, we are reminded of our responsibility to protect and coexist with the diverse and irreplaceable species that share our planet.